Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's series of Tech Tip videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be discussing our Ecotech boilers and how to clean the domestic hot water heat exchanger. The reason we want to keep the heat exchanger clean is so that we can transfer heat efficiently. As the heat exchanger builds up lime deposits, heat transfer is slowed and eventually stops leaving your customer with no hot water. The boiler can be operating normally for space heating, but if the domestic hot water heat exchanger is building up lime scale, the unit cannot get the heat to the domestic water, and the boiler will shut down or overheat. So today, we will take a look at the two methods for cleaning the plate heat exchanger. Keep in mind, this video is intended as a supplement to the boiler manual, so you will want to familiarize yourself with the section on maintenance before proceeding. The first method will be the preferred way to accomplish our task because we don't have to remove any parts from the boiler, provided the proper valves were installed. If you have the combi service valve kit installed, you will see there are locations to connect a hose to the hot and cold lines. So, we connect our hoses to the valves and the other ends will be connected to our pump. You can use a transfer pump or a small submersible sump pump. Before you start, make sure the unit is de-energized. You will want to close the diverter valves which will stop the flow of water from the domestic system. Open the hose valves and allow the pump solution to run through the heat exchanger. The chemical cleaner must be NSF approved and compatible with stainless steel class AISI 316. Never exceed the manufacturer's recommended time for treatment. Once the heat exchanger is clean, you will need to flush the unit with fresh water. You can just close the cold side hose valve, open the cold diverter valve, and let the wastewater flow into your bucket. Now, just disconnect the hoses and return the valves to the normal operating position. Be sure to properly dispose of the wastewater. The alternative to flushing the system with solution is to remove the plate heat exchanger and soak it in the solution. The Ecotech makes it very easy to remove or replace the plate heat exchanger. Simply relieve the pressure on the boiler and remove the four millimeter hex bolts on the front of the manifold. Then push the heat exchanger back until it clears the fittings, then remove the heat exchanger. Soak the heat exchanger in the solution, then Thoroughly flush the heat exchanger with fresh water and reassemble the boiler. Remember, all of these procedures are detailed in the product manual, so follow the instructions there along with the information in this video and your system will be up and running in top condition. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye out for new videos to help you keep your customers happy.